My name is Graham Deacon. I'm the Robotics Research Team Leader here at Ocado Technology. I've been here for about seven years now and initially I was hired with a view to getting robots to pack the shopping. But things have moved on a bit since then and one of the things we're working on now is a project called Second Hands. Uh, this is developing a robot to assist our maintenance technicians and it's called Second Hands because it's literally meant to be a second pair of hands for the technician to get their work done. So Ocado Technology are working together with a number of European universities. These include Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, Ecole Polytechnique Federal de Lausanne, uh, La Sapienza de University of Rome uh, and University College London. And between us we're going to put together uh, a robot which will help our maintenance technicians do their job in a much more efficient and pleasant way for them. So while KIT has been developing the mechatronics and assembling the robot, the other partners have been working hard to develop their own components. We've been talking to each of these partners and spending a lot of time developing the software architecture and infrastructure to make sure that when these components come together, they will work as a coherent whole on the robot. The High Performance Humanoid Technologies team at KIT has been working on the robot hardware and operational software and have implemented various essential functionalities. For example, the robot operating system has been completely developed by KIT. In addition, KIT and UCL have been working together to develop the grasping of a spray bottle, an item that is regularly used for maintaining the automation hardware inside the warehouse. The team at University College London have also been working on different vision functionalities. In addition to the location of objects using grasping, they have managed to achieve marvellous 3D human pose estimation from monocular video, which we can use to track the technician's actions. They are also able to track and distinguish between multiple moving objects in a dynamic environment. Sapienza takes care of the planning and the visual interpretation used in execution monitoring. The planner sets goals for the robot to achieve given the current progress of the maintenance task and the commands received from the technician. The visual interpretation component recognises objects and the visual execution monitor looks for the changing relationships between them as actions are executed in order to verify the robot is progressing towards its current goal. EPFL have studied closely a number of human-robot interaction tasks and implemented them as dynamical systems in, in order to realise a fluid and natural interaction between the robot and the technician. Even though we want the robot to be able to proactively offer assistance without any prompting, it will also be useful to have a natural language interface to the system. The Interactive Systems Lab at KIT have developed a low-latency speech recognition system that is able to extract salient objects and locations in an utterance, even when there are multiple actions referenced. All of these components have previously been developed in both geographically and technically distinct environments. Having now received the second hands robot in our lab at Ocado, we are working together with all the partners to integrate all the different functionalities in order to demonstrate a real world maintenance task.